if I'm Steph, I'm kind of like surveying the landscape. You know what I mean? Like of Golden State. Or like of yeah, the, of, the of like the league. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, am I out of here? You know what I'm saying? Like is this shit? Is this chapter? You know what I mean? Closed? Like. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? As uh, and he's the white hat on that team. You know what I mean? As the white hat on every team you've been on, is that? Do you start to think that way? Like, yo, listen, man. Like, this is is winding down over. That's here. the that's the competitiveness. Like, damn. Like, where can I? Can I win? Can I? You know, I still want to win. You know what I mean? You start looking at everything. Starts. You start looking at things <clears throat> differently, in different lights. Not saying that you want to pursue those things, just everything you, now, your perspective on it and the way you're receiving it is like you're looking at every situation to try to figure out every situation. But I, I mean, I think stuff is like, uh, I don't want to see him in another jersey. <laughs> you, he, he just one of them. It's, I was going to say he's Tim one Duncan. of them guys. He's Tim Duncan. He's Tim Duncan. Like, I don't want to see, I don't want to see him in it. I'll see him in the Knicks jersey. That part, I was like, "Hey, hey," because we we were but supposed to, you know. Honestly, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to see him in in another jersey. Like, I think he is at the point where he can just, you know, unless he go back to Charlotte, that's home. You know what I'm saying? Go back to Charlotte, that'd be a good one. Mellow, the fake Mellow. What'd you say? I said with, with Mellow, the, the fake Mellow, not the real Mellow. The, oh. Low Mellow. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, uh, at the L.A. L.A. Yeah. LA. <laughs> At the LA champ. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a lot of mellow, just so y'all know. This is mellow right at here. At the LA champ. Yeah. But now I just, you know, he's one of those guys that you just want to see him finish it out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And just, it can't be great all the time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, I know you really, I know you still want to win, you know, but most importantly, you still want to enjoy the game and have fun, you know. And if we can win on the way, I'm still going to try to win, but I don't want to have to, do this somewhere else at this point in my career. Like, I just don't. Even wanna... if it's like the perfect situation. What is a perfect situation? Like, yo, you drop me in here. Where? What do you, like, your team got everything they need except a dude like me who's, who's the guy. Like, yo, give me the rock. You know what I mean? Like the playmaker. You know what I mean? I got a solid team. You got good defense, good role players. I, I, I. You drop Steph in there, instantaneous contender. New York. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying like, as, far, on as far as the, you know, as far as the having pieces, you know, in different positions and different, you know, that, that can be on the court with you and, and, and different, you know, yeah, Knicks. I think the, I think the Knicks would, I think the Knicks could benefit from Steph. Stay out there in San Fran, man. You built that. You know what I mean? Like you, True, you yeah, built yeah. that arena. That's, you know his, what that's, I mean? that's your shit. Yeah. He's the Derek Jeter of that yeah, team. You, bro. you built that, so you all good. Bron and Steph teaming up, bro. Like, I mean, Bron still got it, bro. You see it. 39, still coast to coasting, stepping in motherfuckers' chest. Like, making it happen, bro. And then you got Steph. Steph still Steph. Finish it out, man. They link up. Finish it out, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Stay home, Steph. Yeah, yeah, Steph, finish it out, man. The grass got, is always greener on the yeah, other side. man, you got you, you know, the, the domain curry, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fam situation out there, man. You are yeah. the bay. You are. Stay your ass out there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, nah, that's Unless true, you go man. back to, you know what I mean, Charlotte, but that's, I, don't, I don't really know those dynamics to speak on, but what I do know is you got the Bay Area lit. Stay out there. Stay out there, bro. You 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 ain't you will never get your chase statue. Food again. Yeah, that's what, that's another thing too. It's just like, bro, when you come up, you do all three. I didn't mean to cut you off though. Huh? Do you put all three? This the Steph, Clay, and Draymond outside of the. I think so. Listen, because I'm a Yankee fan, right? You know what I'm saying. And to me, them championship years was Derry Jeter, Jorge Posada. Bernie Williams, Andy Pettit. You they know what out saying? front. They in Yankee Stadium. And they, well, well Yankees retiring. Everybody talking about them, <laughs> Like I think my number got retired because I went there one time. I caught a foul ball. You know what I'm saying? Like they just doing it. They going crazy over there. But like Steph is one of them guys. that's like you think Warriors is Steph. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like not even but like you think Clay. Warriors. Dream you know on. what I'm saying? Warriors. So yeah. it's just like the three of them. That core. Because the Yankees called it the core four. 
to me, they that, that the core of that team. Like everybody else that came around them, even KD, bro. Like everybody else that came around them. So his statue is over here. KD statue in the lobby, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. But like, he got one. He he, he, he you know what I mean. His he statue like, is over here. You know, he got a he got the big. You know how they put the big pictures up. Like the big blown nah, up photo. Nah, I they got the picture. Nah, he nah. got the picture like that with nah. the confetti. Nah, he got a he got a statue. He got a you know. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. He made that happen. He made that happen. But I think for sure, for sure, it's Steph, Clay, and Dre. Like that is like yeah. the core of that team. Drafted, came up together, developed together. Because you know how it is too. Like it's like they didn't go get these dudes. Yeah. They drafted them. They they developed them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a, Steve it's a, ain't gonna get them guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was Mark. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That was Mark, Mark Jack. When they got this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yo, this is <laughs> he's, he's the future. Trust me. <laughs> We're taking a brief break from today's episode to let you know that Prize Picks got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. Mm -hmm. With the NFL playoffs right around the corner and the NBA season here right now, Prize Picks is helping us cash in. You know what I mean? Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players. Pick more or less on the projected stats and turn 25 cash into 250. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Get a little quarter, some good. And the best part about it, Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds, bro. Prize Picks allow you to pick combo projections across football and basketball with specials so you can support all your teams. While still cashing in. Oh, let's go. Get you to the saying? bag. I got a couple of projections of mine already. Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use the promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Mm. 